Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about selecting a JavaScript text editor. Now, a JavaScript text editor is basically just a program that you can use to write your JavaScript files. So anytime that we're working with JavaScript, you can either write JavaScript inside of an HTML file. So inside of an HTML file, you can use these special script tags and you can write JavaScript or you can create your own separate JavaScript files and write the JavaScript in there. So any text editor that would be used for like HTML or CSS can also be used for JavaScript. So if you're somebody who has done HTML and CSS in the past and you already have a text editor that you like to use, then you can actually just go ahead and use that for JavaScript as well. But if you're new to sort of web development and you're just kind of looking to learn JavaScript, I'm going to talk to you about the different options you have for text editors. When it comes to JavaScript, it's actually really easy. Any text editor that will let you write out text and save a file in a JavaScript format or, or an HTML format is going to be able to be used for JavaScript. So, you know, you can use the simplest of text editor like Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on Mac or you can download a text editor that's specially designed for programming on the web or JavaScript programming. Now you don't need to install any you know, special programs or special dependencies to run and use JavaScript. All you have to do is just write out the JavaScript in your text editor and your browser will know what to do with it. So like I said, the first type of text editor that you could use would just be a very simple text editor. On Windows, something like Notepad, on Mac, TextEdit. These are very simple programs. You can see down here, I have TextEdit open because I'm on a Mac, and I just have some simple JavaScript typed out. So this is like a JavaScript file, and I have all my JavaScript in here, and you could basically open this up in the browser and it would be able to run and, and everything would work. So you can use something really simple like this, and you can just write out your JavaScript, save the file as a .js file and import it into like an HTML file and you'll be able to use it. Or you can use a text editor that's specially designed for HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And there's a lot of text editors out there that are like that. Um, a couple, there's one called Atom, uh, Sublime, Text Wrangler, Notepad++. There's a bunch of different programs out there that will take something like this and style it a little bit better and make it a little bit easier to read and write. I have one here, it's called Atom, and you can see the difference. So over here in this Atom program, the text is all styled. So obviously you're not gonna understand what any of this JavaScript is doing, but this is the same code as this over here. It's just over here, it's a lot easier to read and visualize, right? Certain words are highlighted in certain colors and you can see stuff that's inside of these quotation marks is green. So there's like a color scheme or what you would call like a theme that's associated with this text. And a lot of programmers will find that a lot easier to use than just something like this. Also, a text editor like this could auto-complete for me. So I could start typing out a JavaScript command like this, and you can see that this text editor is automatically giving me suggestions on what I should type next. So something like this can be really useful when you're writing JavaScript. Here's what I would recommend. If you're just starting out with JavaScript and maybe you're just starting out with like web development in general, I would urge you to use something more like this, something simpler, right? If you're just using like TextEdit or Notepad, there's really not a whole lot that can go wrong. You basically just write out everything inside of here. There's nothing to configure. There's no themes to figure out. There's no plugins. It's basically just like what you see is what you get. And when you're first learning, the simpler, the better. So sticking with something like this, something simple, is probably gonna help you just to sort of understand the fundamentals. And then once you understand the basics, you can move up to something like this, which is obviously like a little bit easier to use and visualize and see, but it's also a little bit more complex because there's all, you know, there's all these different things you have to configure and you know, certain things might go wrong. So that's just sort of my recommendation for beginners. But for the most part, just know that there's two basic types. You can have a simple text editor like this, or you can have something a little bit more complex like this. And if you wanna find a text editor like this, like I said, there's a, a couple popular ones, Atom, uh, Sublime, Visual Studio Code, I think it's called Text Wrangler. Uh, Notepad++, basically you just do a Google search for you know JavaScript text editors or web development text editors and you'll be able to find a bunch. And what you should do is just try out a couple, see which ones you like, see which ones you don't like, and then find one that's gonna work for you. So yeah, that's the basics of 
picking a text editor for JavaScript. Like I said, you know, JavaScript is very simple. So anything that you pick should pretty much work as long as it can save files. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.